lot of the cast have been affected by Harry Potter. Who needs to watch them? What does it mean to you and how has it affected your career? Uh, well, it gave me a career, to be honest. <laughs> uh, everything, I think it, it does mean like family and friends to me. And it's, a, it's definitely it's a place of belonging, which is something like I really struggled to find when I was a teenager. I always just felt really weird and like I had to, I had to try very hard to, to fit in and coming here. I do have a place and I do fit in and uh, I feel very comfortable so I'm very grateful for that. And it, it really helps like because this is such an insecure, unpredictable career path, it's nice to have something that feels like home base and it's always going to be there. Um, and yeah, it's just opened lots of doors for me. I know you've worked with Team Star Kid before, uh, so what what was that experience like and like do you have interest in like, or what is your opinion of other Harry Potter fan projects? Um, I love it. I just love seeing people's, people uh, taking that and pouring their creativity into it. Like, Star could came up with so many funny ideas. And even the whole thing, I was thinking of this the other day. You know the way they say, Hufflepuffs oh, books are particularly good finders. And now that's like canon. <laughs> they are. My mom's a Hufflepuff, and she is amazing at finding things in the way that, like, she doesn't give up and it's because she has faith, which Hufflepuffs do. Whereas I do something, I'm like, it's gone, it's dead, <laughs> it's it. Where she's like, no, it has to be here. And so she finds it. And so that kind of amazes me that they kind of they it's almost like they develop the world more. I used to be a sucker for fan fiction. I had a phase, like when I should have been studying for exams, I was just reading fan fiction. And then I went to the restricted section and it put me off for life. It's awful. <laughs> <It's bad. laughs> if Puff was an animagus for a certain character in the Harry Potter world, who would it be? An animagus for a certain character? Yeah. Who would it be? It would be Neville, actually. <laughs> She's really clumsy, so, so ungraceful, inelegant. Uh, she looks so elegant, though. That's why I got her. I was like, I'm going to have a really neat, posh cat, which is the opposite. She's a mess. Um, Neville, but she is also like him. She. Uh, is loving and sweet and um, daring sometimes. <laughs> oh, sweet. Yeah. What are your top three favorite kinds of soup? Soup. Yeah. Soup. Sweet potatoes, good. We're about um, to sleep in potatoes. Yeah, I know. It's all about it. Carrot and coriander. I like that one. And what are other flavors of soups? Going to squash. That's good. Yeah, I think that's. I like that. Yeah. Sliced bread. Google Maps. Save Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> Google Maps. I would be like okay. dead a hundred times over with Google Maps. Because I, I, yeah, I, I'm not a very good driver, and especially when I don't know where I'm going. Just having that person yelling things out. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's okay. Just turn around. <laughs> nice to me. She always knows where I am. Like, that is magic, isn't it? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>